Hello, 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 hello. How is everybody doing? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Jonathan. Uh, Everyday Thoughts. Basically wanted to touch base with you. Uh, the title of this video is Black Men Stock Rating Single Mothers and Abandoning Your Prodigy. I feel like as black men, um, I've, as far as black men, we need to do a lot of better job as far as laying down with women that we're not really attracted to, or we don't plan on being, uh, be around in the long term. You know, I feel like there's so much, there's just so much we can be doing to occupy our time besides just uh, laying with this woman, that woman, and uh, creating babies out of wedlock and not taking care of them, not being present in the homes, or if we're present in the home, we're not we're absent uh, emotionally, mentally, or, you know, so it's a lot of stuff that we need to focus on, and um, we, need, we, need to, we need to do a better job with protecting our seed, our legacy, and uh, making sure that making sure that we are making sure that we're accountable and stuff. Make sure we're not sleeping around, and if we do sleep around, and a child is reduced, that we take care of that child in all aspects of life, physically, mentally, and we're there for the mother. There's too many mothers out here that's doing it by, by themselves, and there's too many mothers out here that doesn't have any support from the from the child's father. And as, and as black men, if we understand, we gotta understand that that's our legacy. That's what we're gonna be passed down after years after after we die. So we have to make sure that we're protecting our seed. We have to make sure that the the person that we choose to lay down with is is adequate. And she's she's classy, you know, not just not just because she has a fat fat ass or fat booty or big big breasts. Got to make sure that uh, we got to make sure that we're that we protect them, you know, in all in all aspects, cover them. Um, and it's kind of sad, especially when when a lot of women they get pregnant and the and the father is not there presently. He's not helping her go through her pregnancy. She has to do we give birth all by herself, and the father is never he's not present or he's occupied with other women. Like, that's unacceptable to me. Um, point blank, that's unacceptable. As black men, you need to be there from the time she gets pregnant, from the time she gives birth, and after birth, you need to make sure that you're there so she can be able to, um, she can take loads off of her. You know, she shouldn't have to do it all by herself. And she shouldn't have to have to keep asking her parents or family members to keep babysitting while she has to go to work and go to school. You know, that's not, that's unacceptable, you know. That's unacceptable. As black men, we, we gotta make sure that we that we cover her, you know, cover her, cover the children. Make sure they're, like I said, make sure they're in school, make sure they're doing the homework, make sure they're doing the projects. Um, you know, and this part-time dad stuff isn't the way to go. You know, showing up, when you feel like showing up, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable to be a part-time father or you just wanna, you want to be a father on your time, you know, that's unacceptable to me, you know. You need to be there from day one, and that's, that's why you don't need to be keep scattering your seeds because this is, this is your livelihood, this is your, le this is your legacy, it's your prodigy, this is your legacy, and you can't, keep, um, you can't keep leaving your seeds in women and not protecting them. Like, that's not what a grown man do. A grown man going to take care of his kids regardless. He's not going to keep making excuses. If you got to work one, two, three jobs, you got to do what you got to do to make sure you provide for your kids. I don't want to hear all these excuses about government or talking about a white man. I don't care about all that. You find a way to get yourself employed, make more money if you have to, to take care of your kids, you know. Because she didn't, she didn't lay down that bed by herself, did she? No, you contribute to and you understand that you got to realize that you got a responsibility not to just... Not to just uh, not not just to, not just financially, you know. You have to be there to hold the child's hand, to take her to take her to preschool, pick her up, you know. Just spend time with her and spend time with him, you know, and show him the good ropes, you know. Not 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 just when you feel like it, you know. Not just when you want to pick him up and play video games or when he goes and play basketball. You want to be there watching him play football or basketball. It's everyday grind. She shouldn't have to do. You know, have to get groceries, have to uh, pay babysitter just to watch over your child, and then you want to come in on the on the, on the back end and thinking you thinking everything's going to be cool and okay, and and your kids are supposed to forgive you. No, it don't work like that. 
it does not work that way, you know. I mean, you have to make sure that you have to make sure that you're a father at all times, you know, even if you're not with the mother, you know, you not being with the mother does not excuse, excuse you from um, taking care of your children, you know. You need to work it out with her and uh, do what you have to do. Go to court, like I've said before, you uh, know, make make things happen for you. You have with you and your ch children. You know, have a have a good a good foundation with your children, even if you're not together. Because stuff happens. You know, y'all argue, you argue, y'all break up, but your 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 bond, your relationship with your children should be um, infinity. You know, there should be nothing that comes between you you and your children. I don't care about work. Women, nothing is more important than yourself is your it's your children because this is your legacy. This is what's being passed down. You know, I'm not thinking about right here, right now. I'm thinking about 20, 30 years from now when I'm gone. You know, and they're still they're still here. They're still reaping my seeds and they're bringing more and more to more and more to people. And that's the one thing that we have to just just get back to the basics. Is just um, just reach out and do better and just be accountable and um, quit making excuses and be accountable. You know, I don't want to hear about, oh, she need to be accountable too. No, it's, it's, it starts with the man, it starts with the head, it starts with you. You need to do better as a man. If you have kids that you're not, if you have kids and you're not taking care of them, no, you're not a man. You're not a man and you cannot call yourself a man if you're not taking care of your seat. See, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care what, how many businesses you own. I don't care what kind of car you have. I don't care about all that. If you're not taking care of your children, if you're not taking care of your woman, then you're not a man in my eye. So, you know, that's all I had to say. You know, I want y'all to like, like, share, subscribe. Uh, you know, check me out. And then everybody, hope y'all have a blessed day. Peace.